Can you mm -hmm. kind of now flip the perspective and give any hiring managers that are watching some advice? Yeah, I'd be happy to. I think, listen, firstly, it's really important to be aware of your own biases and your initial biases when you're reviewing somebody's um, background, whether it's a LinkedIn or a resume. I think you have to be hyper aware that consciously you probably hold some and you have to kind of check yourself um, first and foremost. But I also think, and I would like stress this so much to folks that are in a hiring seat, we need to be super mindful that the last few years of the labor market have essentially been anomalies. Like if we're yeah. looking at 2020 to now, we've experienced vastly different labor markets each and every year. And I would urge people to be very hesitant to evaluate talent based off of their tenure alone. I think we are starting to get back into that. I'm hearing, you know, a lot of folks that I'm connecting with as candidates that are sharing that feedback, but also I'm starting to hear some of that from hiring managers directly too the last four years have been anomaly. So we need to yeah. listen to people's stories, understand why career changes happened, respect the fact that the last four years have been wonky as ever. And so I think that there's a lot more that we need to dig into and look at as opposed to just kind of looking off of those things alone. But also, and I, I would think that this would be probably one of the best ways to navigate this really difficult hiring market is utilizing an advisory partner like Hirewall to help you reevaluate your talent strategy, your interview processes, yes. but also the way you look at talent. You think that that's something that, you know, you need to have extra time with. You need to have a second set of yeah. eyes, second set of opinions. So utilizing an agency that's focused on advisory talent partnerships like Hirewall is definitely your best bet. Such good points. I hope some hiring managers were listening to that. I think that I was really, so really good advice. Um, and yeah, if you, like you said, if you have any other questions or you are kind of, you know, I think sometimes the first step is admitting you have a problem, right? Like you said, like <laughs> totally first step, if you're watching this and you're a hiring manager and you're realizing like, wow, I have definitely had biases, mm -hmm. you know, when looking at candidates and like immediately jumping to conclusions about their tenure when like you're saying, the last few years in the market have been not the nurse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. So if you're one of those people who are watching and you're like, ooh, maybe that's me. I'm, I'm admitting that's kind of me. Like reach out to us. We, we would love to chat, you know, have a conversation. Um, we could chat about this all day long, as you could tell. We sure could. We talk about it all day anyway. Why not talk about it with some people other than one another? Um, that would be great, probably. I think other people would. For both it. of us, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like that's all we had for y'all this week. But yeah, what do you say we wrap it up? 